ओके सो दिस वीडियो इज फॉर द पीपल हु वॉन्ट टू ट्रेन दैर टीम और हु वॉन्ट टू ट्रेन मो अदर पीपल अबाउट कॉफी एंड दिस वीडियो इज फॉर नेम Uh, so at a lot of places now training is becoming very important and people are taking really seriously a lot of people are showing videos people are showing our youtube channel they are showing uh, videos of other championships and all those things so this particular video is made for that so that you can show it across and make sure that even the people who are getting trained you value this because people who are training you are taking their time out to train you so make sure you value that at all, a lot So we're going to talk about five do's and five don'ts about introducing somebody into the specialty coffee. So there are a lot of right ways, there are a lot of wrong ways. We're going to pick like five best right ways, five best wrong ways, and this video is all about that. Okay, so let's start with the don'ts. The first point is, don't be an obnoxious person while educating somebody in specialty coffee. Now you could be educating somebody in. Uh, as a customer for, to a customer or to your friend or to your family but don't be an obnoxiously irritating person uh, who will start giving a lot of lot of gyan or in other words lot of unnecessary information and you just been obnoxious about telling it in a wrong way so tell it in a nice package right correct way do not be an obnoxious person while teaching them or introducing them in specialty coffee so for example like if you see a guest walking in and uh, you feel that they are here for the first time don't be obnoxious to bombard them with a lot of information and take away their half an hour 45 minutes of their life because for all you know they have stopped listening you on the fifth minute all right so take it easy don't educate you don't want to make them the champions on the first day you just want to give them some food for thought or coffee for th- a thought uh, coffee for thought not coffee for thought coffee for thought while they go home so make sure you give small information crisp uh, not too confusing easy information second point please don't be bored while educating anybody now you might have to repeat the same statement 10000 times over a lot of years but make sure that the person who is listening for the first time they should feel that you also telling it for the first time all right so it should not so happen that you I, you start getting bored about are i, I got to tell the same thing again and again how many times do i answer the same question your job is to educate and when you are educating you cannot expect somebody else to know about it or else why would they come to you right so don't be bored while telling be always excited enthusiastic about have show that passion while you communicating then uh, you'll see a lot of these people don't be pretentious all right don't be pretentious you'll be caught brown handed one day like coffee handed one day you'll be like really uh, opened up one day so don't be pretentious in telling like for example for example when you taste the coffee and you've got all beginners in front of you stop making things up that this tastes like camphor with a hint of mango and papaya chocolate syrup and all those all those things so that is being little bit what do you say uh, pretentious mm, it smells like pink floyd ish well for me it smells like you know you might have heard about the clothing brand from muji it's not clothing brand be it's in a dab brand so beefy so beautiful mm-hmm. and i've got those flavors of amazing i don't know what all it's just amazing please don't do this this is bloody pretension <laughs> smell it if you find it is chocolatey and nutty just go for it don't go for like an elaborated exaggerated sense of whatever you think of muji muji definitely like you getting a lot of flavors but others you guys it's your first day that's why you're not getting it don't be that all right don't be a person who shows that you know it all and you've tasted like a billion cups and you're the best and all uh don't be pretentious on social media or on ground or while training or while educating don't be pretentious keep it simple if you don't know be a person who accepts that you don't know this thing and you will come out with the information more you can be that so that will be great but uh, oh god pretentious uh, it's really annoying it's re- you can catch them like this nowadays you know it's very annoying 
and which brings to the point number four which is do not lie do not lie about anything about when you are educating somebody like don't make things up don't make things up don't uh, lie about the coffee that you're using or the taste that you're getting or the machine or the equipment or whatever thing whatever virtue you're trying to pass on don't lie about it uh, because somebody else in the crowd is hearing you very aptly and uh, he or she will go back home learn about it and find out that you're faffing around so you'll be caught red-handed again and it's just not good for the community all right so don't lie just make sure that uh, and also also uh, don't lie to the customers whenever guests walk in and you want to educate them into specialty coffee market don't lie to them for no reason all right that uh, if you don't know you don't know that's about it you can just say that to them that i don't know it right now i don't want to make don't make things up so uh, one thing is important that coffee does not belong to any particular language all right it does not belong to belong to just english the reason i'm saying this is there are a lot of people who will get intimidated by the kind of english vocabulary a lot of people have while speaking and describing coffee you can literally describe coffee in like marathi telugu tamil hindi kannada whichever language you are comfortable with you don't have to feel conscious about it all right you just if like i remember i used to cup with a guy who did not understand english at all but his tasting was so good he used to say some word in bengali that ye iske saman taste kar raha we used to go google it up and probably i was saying blueberry he was also saying blueberry in his native language but when we google it it turned out to be blueberry so the tasting was good so you need to understand that coffee does not belong to any language don't be conscious about it it does not matter how you look how you talk whatever you talk broken english good english broken hindi whatever it is just be comfortable enough to tell the guest the right information All right now let's talk about the five do's that you want to do while you're introducing somebody to specialty coffee now make sure you introduce them to the two major points one is the coffee second is the equipment all right introduce them on these points keep it very simple all right don't even go into the beverage or espresso or the differentiating factors of latte cappuccino don't go there just explain what coffee is that this is pre- a raw bean first then it is roasted heat is applied the color changes naturally there is no additives and that is when the roasted bean comes to life this bean is then ground don't even tell them what grind sizes are don't confuse them just tell them that it is put in a powder form that's how we start brewing tell them about equipments now the same powder is used in different equipments different equipments will have different taste experience with the same coffee that's about it is what you want to tell anybody on the first day do not tell them all confusing things that different between latte and cappuccino is this espresso is this they'll never learn they'll never listen they'll ask you the same thing again so you got to educate in a very nice way this is point number 1 okay point number 2 make them taste now I remember when we were starting off initially we used to make sure that anybody any guest who walks in maybe they are drinking they are adding three sachets of sugar or whatever it is our point was that we just want to give them a black coffee and what we used to go do is we used to go to the table and say hey you know what we are brewing this coffee black coffee we've got some why don't you try it we gave it to them and that's how the conversation started that's how they got exposed to black coffee so uh, make them taste as many coffees as you have If you're brewing some coffees, make them taste. Give it on the table, completely FOC. No point of uh, no no uh, negotiation on that. Just make sure you keep giving them coffees. Make sure you make them taste as many coffees as possible, as many different roast profiles as possible, as many different uh, beverages as possible. That's how you basically educate. Point number three is proper regular training and appreciation of that training. Now. training is a two way cycle all right two way cycle two way street all right training is a two way street where basically somebody is training you and you are getting trained now if the trainer is not appreciating 
the people who have given time to him or her the same way and and in the same way if the people who are getting trained are not giving appreciation to the person who's training them there's a big mismatch and there's a big issue that will come up so make sure that you respect somebody's time who's training you and make sure you respect the time somebody's given for them to get trained also it is very important to have regular sessions uh be it as be- basic as uh what is the difference between a taste of a mesh filter and a paper filter all right do an activity around it people will love it all right the more you train regularly the better experience at your cafe and at your company it will be so make sure you do that all right so for you to introduce somebody in specialty coffee or for that matter anything you need to be knowledgeable yourself all right you need to educate yourself in these small basic basic set of things and also educate yourself in making sure that you package it well and push it out well as well all right that is very important just having knowledge and not able to present it doesn't make sense at all good presentation no knowledge doesn't make sense at all so make sure that you have the knowledge yourself and keep upgrading yourself every day literally every day don't don't and at the same time at the same time when you are educating yourself every day and upgrading yourself uh your level of knowledge will keep increasing but remember the people who you want to train they are still at the basic level so make sure you break it down easily for them don't go into high fund level so break it down easy okay and the and the fifth and the most important point is called kiss which is everybody knows keep it simple silly you got to keep it as simple as possible to the people who are trying to get into coffee all right for me for example uh understanding beer is very very tricky because whenever i start talking about something there's another chapter that people open up then there's another chapter then there's another chapter there's hops there's yeast there's blah there's blah and ultimately i am like okay you know what i just want to drink two glasses of beer i'm good so i am asking the same questions again and again without me understanding what is happening similarly in coffee there will be a lot of people who will just give up and say you know what it's too confusing i just like the taste of the coffee that's about it i don't want to understand more but it is very easy for them to know this it's very easy for you to tell them this rather so keep it super simple keep it very easy that show them with pictorial representations show them let them touch the green beans let them touch the roasted beans let them grind the coffee at your place you know that that adds a lot of uh what do you say physical attribute or uh, a lot of tangible you get a, add a lot of tangible uh learning towards that so that is something that you have to do yeah so so these are five do's and five don'ts there are a lot more but uh, if you guys are watching this video together with somebody with your team or something like that i think it's great to apply this one step at a time uh you will definitely see a good change in the brand or improvement in the brand and you'll also see the kind of educative stuff that's going out to the customers or guests they'll get to know more so this video is about that if there are more that you know do's and don'ts please put down in the comment section below and hit like share and subscribe thank you